Hello, everyone, and welcome to another week of our Gospel Reflections. This week is the third week of Lent, and today's Gospel Reflection is for Monday of this third week of our Lenten season. So we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel today comes from Luke, chapter 4, verses 24 to 30. Jesus came to Nazara and spoke to the people in the synagogue. I tell you solemnly, no prophet is ever accepted in his own country. There were many widows in Israel, I can assure you, in Elijah's day, when heaven remained shut for three years and six months, and a great famine raged throughout the land. But Elijah was not sent to any of these. He was sent to a widow at Zarephath, a Sidonian town. And in the prophet Elisha's time, there were many lepers in Israel, but none of these was cured except the Syrian, Naaman. When they heard this, everyone in the synagogue was enraged. They sprang to their feet and hustled him out of the town, and they took him up to the brow of the hill their town was built on, intending to throw him down the cliff. But he slipped through the crowd and walked away. The Gospel of the Lord. The full impact of this gospel becomes apparent only when we remember that it occurs at Nazareth and it occurs right at the very beginning of Jesus' ministry. It is Jesus' declaration about the opening and setting of his ministry. And it is essentially a story of non-conversion. The Nazarenes have been given the chance to be the first recipients of Jesus' message, and they have turned it down. They think they know him, but they really don't. So Jesus will be forced to turn to the Gentiles, as did Elijah and Elisha, bringing God's healing to Syrians rather than to God's chosen people, Israel. This passage does not appear in other Gospels. Here, Luke is already looking ahead to the Gentile mission, which he will outline in the Acts of the Apostles. Three times Paul is rejected by the Jews. Three times he's forced to leave the Jews and bring Christ's message to the Gentiles in Asia, in Greece, and finally in Rome. Jesus is, after all, the light of the world, not only the glory of his people, Israel. Today's Gospel question do we really know who Jesus is? Or do we only accept him when it suits us? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me for our Gospel Reflection today. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Till then, take care and God bless. Thanks, everyone.